good and idea. We'll just start doing that. All right, so yeah, the enzymes, um, the wild ferments, uh, as opposed to store bought, um, we'll just kind of quickly touch on that. You really, there's there's really no way of knowing all the different probiotics and good things that can be there. It really depends on the ingredients that are in the container and your environment actually plays a part here because this is like a reflection of your environment actually. And uh, when I used to teach kombucha workshops, um, some of the ladies would say, mention that their they could never do it because they would get contaminated with something. And I'm like, well, that's something either you're not changing the cloth mm -hmm. often enough on the top of the jar or there's like something in your environment. Yeah. It's a really good indicator of like what's around the air quality of your mm. space. Right. So, um, yeah, but there's really no way of, of knowing it's like, uh, buying, um, yogurt that has like the introduced strains that grow or doing milk kefir where you have the living thing and then it create like the yeast and bacteria the friendly yeast and bacteria count in there is yeah very large compared to what you can get in the store and all of these store-bought things when it comes to enzymes and probiotics really difficult to package something like that up and have it like an actual viable thing when you actually get it to your home and then get it into your body. They're not, they're alive. So they, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and for the shop, they have to kind of, I think the rule is that they have to give like a constant um, product mm. and the consistent the, yeah, flavor. Exactly. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's, this is alive, so we know. It's consistently inconsistent. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> exactly. So, and it's such, it, I love the contact with what you're doing and, mm. and, and, the, and the benefits, like what you, you give yourself. It's, it's quite deep, you know? I think, really the allowance to take your time to feel what you're doing and you brew something yeah which is good and yeah. and has its own flavor and its own yeah magic. it's like a garden it's yes. like a garden in a jar yes yeah this is food preservation fermentation is like yeah. nature's way of preserving food and not just preserving food like detoxifying glyphosates purifying. are broken down purifying. and like this purification process happens in the jar and um yeah and so it's it's interesting like how it evolves over time um on an emotional level because when you're it's it was really interesting to me how i was putting these things into the jar like citrus peel and pineapple which are can be irritating like rub some pineapple mm -hmm. on your lip or some citrus yeah. peel on your lip it's gonna you're gonna have a reaction to yeah. that and then when you're finished when you're when you're actually filtering this stuff out and you're like squeezing it out and you have this contact like what you're saying it's like a totally different thing you're like yeah. you like want to put it on yourself you feel your hands getting so soft yeah whoa and the smell and the texture is very mushy yeah that's that's an indicator that it's really ready right yeah so that's all this nice so there's all it's like the, this softening i like that yeah, yeah this softening that happens over time and i started actually using the process of fermentation as like a some people call this recapitulation or like um you know it was like my emotional therapy where i would t take an event in my life and i'm like okay i'm just gonna like change my feeling about something that happened to me and i would use the fermentation process like as mm. part of my therapy and sometimes i would even write down you know um a little note to myself like um on that and like put it on the jar is sort of like a reminder so that when I go back to that jar and open it up and I can remember the intention that was behind mm. 
that process. And then it's like, you know, it was this irritating thing that went into the jar and it was like this totally soft nurturing thing that comes out. So, um, yeah, then it really, I mean, yeah, my experience with fermentation, it's not just, you know, a recipe and shoving things in a jar. It's like a no, totally yeah. way for me to connect hmm. to myself and to the environment to yes. really check in with nature. Yes. And make contact with her. Yeah. The mother spirit. Yeah. Is really what I call it. Yeah. And it is different when you cut up like the peels or you want to give it kind of a second life of the parts you cannot use anymore, right? right. And it's like yeah and you look like at the opening of the bottle and you think oh this is wishful that it's quite small <laughs> yeah. i'm totally fine with doing this now right yeah but, yeah yeah i like the lining up you know it's not like i have to do this quickly to make as you say make it happen no it's just it's beautiful yeah and the longer you do it actually i think i f just feel how much more you i appreciate it mm-hmm and and then more experimenting kind of with flavors like yes. you adding the base of the chai yeah that took it to a new level yeah i feel like i'm just scratching the surface now with ideas of flavors pine needle yeah i'm gonna have to try that yeah you did <laughs> aloe as well right aloe vera yeah i did aloe vera i did some things just for like more leaning to topical applications yeah, right. like at first because your head is in the camera there oh am i <laughs> there um we have tech support <laughs> in the house um yeah the um the emotional contact in there and the um the healing aspect so yeah using aloe it's a fun experiment. I would love to do more with aloe vera. And ginger, right? Yeah, ginger. Great ginger. Yeah. Or like, um, what did you say? Orange peel only like? Orange peel I love. I As you too, I love the citrus peels. And um, yeah, they're probably my favorites. Yeah. The citrus. I don't know. Something. And you, especially you, and yeah, me too, because I, I, we stay in a similar place. You go along with the seasons, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what is hanging on the tree and might yeah. drop off, like the star fruit? Oh my gosh. I'm mm. so surprised how good that turned out. Yes. Wow. I was amazed. It was really good. Sometimes if you just eat it, it's like, hmm. There's things in all almost everything but there's actually things in star fruit that are really challenging for our body to digest mm. and so fermentation is like pre-digestion yes it's like already digested yeah. it's really like your plasma yeah like it's been detoxified it's clean yeah. it's ready to go it's ready to feed you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah yeah for all reasons in and mm, it's i'm getting thirsty <laughs> <laughs> yeah do it and it just i mean if you think if you might think in in time it would only like add an extra minute a day just to cut up right maybe two minutes sure. for great beautiful benefits yeah so. and the for the the process takes the longest amount of time yeah. the actual preparation time is yeah is relatively uh short yeah Really. so you can do it right yeah like if you want yeah i was doing this while i was backpacking literally like there you go on the road yeah so hmm. i did shorter ferments then but yeah how short mm, it really varied right. it was like an emergency thirst <laughs> 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 then it was still a bit sweet but yeah yeah nice yeah so Thank, Thank you. you for sharing and yeah. exchanging. Yes. Hope to do many more. Yay. Mm. Me too. <laughs> Ciao, everyone. Ciao. All right. We'll just Stop it. ramble on. Yeah, we'll yeah. stop recording. <laughs>